in these complexes comes from the comes from the Kundalini circuitry. The power of these physical organs in these complexes comes from the Kundalini circuitry. But this surface power is not the surface power that we experience in our emotions and urges and functioning of the organs. This surface power is not even a drop of the ocean of energy that Kundalini is. Naturally, when our power of concentration increases through meditation, the overall experience of energy in all organ complexes intensifies. A yogi can sit down and eat ten loaves of bread if he chooses to. But he's a fool if he tries to do that. <laughs> Naturally, when our power of concentration increases through meditation, the overall experience of energy in all organ complexes, emotional energy, the energy manifest in the form of our urges and of physical or physiological functioning of those organs intensifies. It may become tremendous intellectual power. It may become power of poetry or other arts. It may become immense universal love into whose field is caught anyone who walks into a yogi's presence. It may become benign hunger as I just described or increased sexual urge and so on. A wise disciple under a Sadguru, a noble, highly qualified Guru, will understand that these are only sparks of Kundalini that have become intensified. Okay. Here we digress a moment into a different metaphor. These chakras, how many chakras in the circuitry? The seven is a count for beginners. <laughs> Wherever more than three of those 35 million channels meet is a chakra. There is a chakra in this fingertip. And in this fingertip. And here between the two nostrils. And so on. And the yogis use these chakras for different purposes, at the tip of the tongue, in the middle of the tongue, at the root of the tongue, where the tongue may touch the roof of the mouth, in Keshari Mudra, they are all chakras.
these chakras are as gates that may open outwards or inwards opening the chakras means they are closing people talk of opening the chakras opening the chakras means closing the chakras hmm. closing off the outward flow and diverting their intensive energy into the inward flow most worldly people make themselves into ever leaking sieves <laughs> everybody here ever leaking sieves through all the senses through all the organs most worldly people make themselves into ever leaking sieves through whose every sense door the energy oozes rushes and gushes outwards the yogi interprets the sensations in the senses and organs very differently the yogi knows that sexual feeling is placed in certain organs only to make us know that here is an energy complex okay it's a power house that you can tap for intensifying the upward flow and really penetrating through the fog of delusion the yogi knows that sexual feeling is placed in certain organs only to make us know that here is an energy complex it is now intensifying turn its flood inwards and it will become the inward penetrating power of intense meditation when the sadhaka encounters such an increased output of energy in any chakra when the sadhaka encounters such an increased output of energy in any chakra under no circumstances should one interpret it as a sexual desire or as an impulse to indulge he she then needs to take it as a blessing an invitation to turn the flow inwards and for that to practice the right attitudes shift in emotion to convert the physical into spiritual and again for that to practice the locks bandhas and seals mudras that may be prescribed together with the special techniques that the guide may show to make the energy flow inwards and upwards <clears throat> 